the lady or the woman we're going to speak about today is an evil woman. And today we're going to look at the woman named Jezebel. Jezebel. 1st Kings 16.31 And she's a remarkable person to speak about. It says in 1st uh, Kings 16.31 And it came to pass as if it had been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, that he took to wife Ahab Ahab, we're talking about King Ahab. He took to wife Jezebel. This is the northern tribe, Israel. He took to wife Jezebel, Ahab and Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbaal. Ethbaal means with Baal. Now, Baal, B A A L, is a god of this region, of the people. He's not Jehovah. He's a false god, and Ahab marries to Jezebel, the daughter of Ephah. Her father's name means given to or with Baal, king of the Zidonians, and they were known for their worship of Baal, Ashtoreth, and idolatry. This is the wrong woman. Never mind, she's not a Jewish woman. She's a Gentile. She's a wicked woman. Went and served Baal and worshipped him. So look, it says... He married Jezebel and he served Baal and worshipped him. That is Ahab. And he follows, follows in his wife's worship in her ways. That's the problem with intermarriage. You got a Baptist and you got a Catholic. Well, who's God's going to win? You got a Baptist and you got a Jehovah Witness. Who's going to win in the family? Well, we'll be both be equal. You can't be equal. You can't be. You got to have a 51 of 49 in the family. Somebody has got to be the lead. Who's it going to be? For Ahab, it was Baal. Now, we move on to 18, chapter 18, verse 4. 18, verse 4. For it was so that Jezebel, there she is, cut off Massacred, murdered, cut off the prophets of the Lord that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them in a cave. So what has happened is Obadiah saves a hundred prophets, but Jezebel has massacred, she has murdered God's prophets. So she's a murderess who serves Baal and Astrid and idolatry. She marries into a Jewish line, which the Jewish line is not to have. And listen, the Jewish law, when God sent them into the, into the land of Israel, not Palestine, he told them to destroy them all. And their idolatries, and their images, and their gods. Well, Israel did not completely do what God told them to do. Now here's the mess they're into. Verse 
Baal, asterisk, idolatry. She's a murderer. And not only is she a murderer, she's a murderer of the prophets of the Lord. And she would destroy a hundred more if it wasn't for Obadiah. Verse 14. Verse 14. Uh, wait a minute. We tried 19. Verse 19. Let me take a moment. Let me take a moment here for I'm sorry about that to take care of something in the house. So, we're talking about Jezebel. And I may have a false note here. Oh, no, we don't. All right, verse 19. I apologize for that. Now, therefore, send and gather me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, the prophets of Baal. So, Baal, the false god, has prophets. They're false prophets. Because they're not the prophet of Jehovah, Lord God. 450. And the prophets of the groves. And the grove is a planting of trees. You put an image. Like Mary. In a shell. Surrounded by bushes. And you maintain and you clean them bushes. And you cut them. And you keep Mary clean. You bring it up to date. So there are prophets of Baal, 450. There are prophets of the grove, 400. Which eat at Jezebel's table. So these... 850 prophets that are false prophets representatives of a false god sit and dine with Jezebel and she allows them at her table in fellowship but we just read previous, she killed the Lord's prophets. She has nothing to do with God, Jehovah, the Lord. But Ahab, the king of Israel, marries her. She's wicked. Look at the company she keeps with. It's outright wickedness. Chapter 19, verse 1. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, with all how he had slain all the prophets with a sword. Then Jezebel sent messengers. Hey, look at that, she's using messenger. Messenger is nothing new. Unto Elijah saying, So let the gods, small g o d s, you see, it's not just Baal, it's other gods, it's goddesses. Astra, do to me, and more also. If I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. All right, so you killed the, the prophets of the false god. Jezebel maintains and swears by the false gods. 
if I don't kill you also. So in her heart, anybody that is of God, she wants to slay. And she's already slain the prophets of Jehovah, the prophets of God, and dines with the false prophets. That's Jezebel, chapter 21, verse 5. Verse 5, but Jezebel, there he is, there she is, excuse me, his wife, Ahab, came to him, said, Why is thy spirit so sad that thou eatest no bread? He, Ahab, said, Because I spake unto Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said unto him, Give me thy vineyard for money, or else if it please thee, I will give thee another vineyard for it. And he answered, I will not give thee my vineyard. He can't give it his vineyard. The law of God forbade Naboth to sell his land. It belonged to his family, and it belonged to his tribe. Ahab is out of line, but it's extra. Jezebel, his wife, said unto him, Does not now govern the kingdom of Israel? <laughs> Arise and eat bread, and not let thy heart be merry. I will give thee the vineyard of Naboth to Jezreel. Wait a minute, I thought you just said... Aren't you the ruler of the nation? <laughs> but I, I'll take care of it for you. It's like when we had President Ronald Reagan. President Ronald Reagan, but what they later said was, Nancy Reagan, and I forget which, what it was, but her, her seance, her... her guiding spirit, or, or whatever it was. Nancy Reagan did not believe in the God of the Bible. She believed in, you know, seeking somebody, a false prophet. So it, it was told later on that the entire White House, under the presidency of Ronald Reagan, was under a psychic advisor, a false prophet. Well, I thought the President Reagan was in charge. <laughs> no, his wife was in her psychic advisor, the false prophet. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal. You ever know a wife that would sign her husband's names? Sign her husband's name to documents. That's for Jezebel. Do you know somebody in a household or in a government that the, that the woman takes the charge over a man? That's a Jezebel. You know a woman that gives her counsel by gods and goddesses? And not God is a Jezebel. So does not thou govern Israel? No, she does. And sent the letters unto the elders in charge, the nobles that were in the city dwelling where David dwelt. Verse 9, she wrote letters saying, Proclaim a fast. Let's get religious. So she's religious with Baal and goddesses. She's religious with all her false prophets. She's religious with fasting. Set Naboth on high among the people warning Christian if anybody tries to set you up warning Christian if anybody is to set you on high to put you higher than what you should be an exaltation of honor 
or a proclamation of uh, uh, of service. Be careful. Especially if it's of the lost people. Set two men, sons of Belial, this is wicked, worthless, before him, Naboth, and bear witness against him, saying, Thou didst blaspheming God. No, he didn't. So we have a liar. She is lying about somebody. Deceit. And she's got this whole town involved. And the king. No, he didn't. But she's a liar. You know a lot of you Christians out there? There would be no lies for you to speak against the president in the United States. President Joe Biden. You speak against him. You rattle against him. And it's the truth. You, you, Paul told Timothy, you're the respect and you're the honor and you're the prey for your leaders. It's wicked to speak against a king. But this is a lie. And notice how she put God, capital G, ahead of the king. Oh, she's religious. Capital G, God. She doesn't believe in Jehovah. She doesn't believe in the Lord God, but these people do. So the fasting that she mentions is a fasting of God, capital G, of who she doesn't believe and doesn't have no care for. But she's using God, capital G, for her and her husband's advantage. And don't forget, he blessed me the king. She knows Jewish law. She knows she, no one of the Jews is to rank on to make fun of their leader. And then carry him out and stone him that he may die. There is a murderer again. There is a murderer. She's back up thinking about murder. And the men of the city, even the elders and nobles who were in the inhabitants of the city, did as Jezebel had sent unto them. Notice the charge is hers because it wasn't Ahab. It was her. As it was written in the letters which she signed, which she had sent unto them. They proclaimed a fast, they got religious, and set Naboth on high among the people. There came two children of Belial and sat before him, and the men of Belial witnessed against him, even against Naboth, in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth did blaspheme God and the king. And they carried him forth out of the city and stoned him with stones, and he died. She is now involved with a plot using official people to murder an innocent man. So where you have anybody in the government, Jezebel, use leaders of a nation, of a state, of a county, of a municipal, they are used by their authority head to kill or have killed innocent citizens. That's the work of Jezebel. And the charge will be put towards her because she authorized it. And there have been men in the news that supposedly they've had others killed. And if it is true, no matter if you hire somebody to kill 
your husband or your wife and they kill your husband or your wife, you also will be in charge of murder. By God. If man doesn't do it. Verse 25. This is all about Jezebel. 25. But there was none like unto Ahab which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of the Lord, whom Jezebel his wife stirred up. She's stirring up. She is aiding and abetting and practicing in her husband selling himself for wickedness. You are not going to serve the Lord because you would lose money. You are not going to go to that church because you'd make no profit. You're not going to hang out with those Christians because you won't get invited to meetings. You will go and be with and do the things that will make you money. And your wife, the Jezebel spirit, will be right by your side. She will be a yes woman. You think we ought to go to this banquet instead of church? Midweek serve? Yes, I think we should. Shall I get a new dress? <laughs> so it's remarkable. And we're not done. Second Kings. Nine. 22. 9.22. And it came to pass when Jerome saw Jehu, he said, is it peace, Jehu? Jehu, excuse me. He says, what is peace so as long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel? All right, so Jerome is a child, a son of Jezebel. Jezebel was a mother. Jezebel is involved with whoredoms. We just read Ahab sold himself out. That's the whoredoms. You will do for money with the lost that you won't do with the save because it would be a loss for you. Jezebel made more friends and society friends in money killing and hating the prophets of God and having the false prophets of Baal and Asherah and whoever at her table. Of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts. She's involved in witchcrafts. I can just think of some hairy books. That are involved in today's Christian children. Even allowed by their parents. And they see nothing wrong. And that they are raising their children. With these books and the movies. Of witches and witchcraft and magic. And sorcery. You are raising them in. Jezebel.
You're selling your children out. You hoard them. That's not right. Your kids should be reading and studying good Christian books. And I say copyright old. As old as the copyright you can get. Get away from the new stuff. Get away from the old stuff. Uh, get away from the new stuff. Get into the old stuff. Verse 30. When Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face. So the Baptist churches have face painting and face painting classes. The Jezebel spirit. Did you get what I said? Jezebel heard of it. Jezebel, the wicked, murderous, false god, false prophet, killing God's prophets against the Lord God of the Bible, but for Baal and Asterisk, she is painting her face, and in today's Baptist churches, you have face painting. You are of the Jezebel spirit. But you're a Bible believer. You're a Bible believing church. We're King James 1611. And you face paint after Jezebel. Jezebel heard it. And she painted her face. And tired her head. She fixed her hair up. And looked out the window. In verse 32, he lifted up his face into the window and said, Who's on the who's on my side? Who? And they looked out to him two or three units. He said, Throw her down. So they threw her down, and some of her blood sprinkled upon the wall and the horses and the trotter underfoot. You know what that's a picture of? The second coming Lord Jesus Christ when he tramples his enemies. Her blood is upon the, 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 the walls. The blood is upon the Listen, don't give me that in, in Revelation. The blood uh, 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 is trampled upon with Jesus in his horse is the blood of Jesus. Don't give me that nonsense. Because this is a cross-reference to it. Here's a wicked, vile woman. As there will be wicked, vile women at the second advent. And they will be crushed. And their blood will be scattered. It will be splattered. Upon the horse of Jesus. That's not his blood. So that's a picture of the second advent. When he was come in, he did eat and drink. He said, go. See now, this cursed woman, she's called a cursed woman, and bury her, for she is the king's daughter. True. We read that off 1 Kings 16, 31. They went to bury her, but they found no more of her than her, the skull and the feet. Skull, skull, yeah. skull and crossbones. And the palms of her hands. Oh, there's your palm Sunday. So she's dead. All they find is her bones. Wherefore they came again, told him, and said, This is the word of the Lord, which spanked by the servant Elijah the Tishmite, saying, The portion of Jeze Jezreel shall the dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. The carcass of Jezebel shall be as 
dung upon the face of the rich. So what happens when they come and just find her bones, her skull, her palms, and her feet, the dogs ate Jezebel. And the final outcome of Jezebel is she becomes dog poop. The expression out the world is, I can't say it, but dog, you know what it is. So I have a message I've done a couple times, is don't step in the Jezebel. Her entire being, she is eaten by dogs, and they crap her out. And when we go to the Bible, go to Revelation, chapter 2, verse 20, Revelation 2, 20, notwithstanding, I have a few things against these, right into the churches. And this church is Thyatara, you're writing against Thyatara. Thou suffers the woman Jezebel. Now, now, this is not the literal Jezebel, but here's a woman just as wicked as Jezebel, and she shows up in the church age. Listen, there are Jezebels today in 2023. Which causes herself to be a prophetess. Oh, she's a prophetess. To match with her false prophets. To teach and to seduce. That's a magic. My servants, Christians, to commit fornication, sex, before a marriage, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. There's that idols again. Look at all the years and the idolatry of, of Jezebel still shows up. I mean, this is the mass. This is people who are giving food to idols. This is people in Mexico that, that go to the dead and bring food to feed the dead. You call it Halloween. I gave her a space to repent of her fornication. There's a fornication. And she repented not. She rejected God. Lord, I will cast her in a bed with them that commit adultery. We're still talking about the Jezebel. We're talking about the Jezebel spirit. Now adultery with her to great tribulation. Except they repent of their deed. So listen, fornication and adultery. And I can just imagine the real Jezebel did commit adultery against Ahab. I don't know. I would assume, but by what we're reading now, that's the Jezebel spirit. A woman who's involved with fornication is a Jezebel spirit. A woman involved in adultery is a Jezebel spirit. A woman that teaches and seduces people to come out of what way of Christianity, that's a Jezebel spirit. A woman that won't repent, a woman that won't listen to God is a Jezebel spirit. <clears throat> Idolatry is a Jezebel spirit. False gods, false goddesses <coughs> is a Jezebel spirit. She called herself a prophetess. That's a Jezebel spirit. She's got murder in her heart. That's a Jezebel spirit. I will kill her children with death. 
And all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. So, the outcome is judgment and getting what you deserve. I will kill her children. Well, Jezebel was a mother. She was a wife. She was in the rulership of the nation. And she's alive and well in 2023. And she's doing a work that, that, that prevents the loss to come to God through Jesus Christ as he, she's preventing the Christians from doing right. That's the Jezebel. And I love the face painting. She painted her face. And all the Baptist churches I've been in and, and seen face painting. Well, good afternoon, Jezebel. How you doing?